Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again. I decided to do a real quick video to show you guys something that I just bought from ToyHacks.com that I've never bought from them before. I've bought tons and tons of decals, some weapons from the Toy Hacks Armory, but I've never bought any of their toy stages. Their toy stages is backgrounds for your figures, for photography, uh, dioramas, what have you. And it's I decided it's time that I get one of those because I want to change things up for the way I shoot my Toy Hacks reviews. I've been doing the same way for about two years and I decided this year I'm going to change things up. So when you normally order something from ToyHacks.com, you get it in an envelope or a padded envelope, something like that. The toy stages came in a big cardboard box. It looks like it was delivered by FedEx and it only took five days to get here, where the normal decals take about two weeks, five days, and it was in my hand. So real quick, let's take a look and see what we've got. We're going, we're going to do this together. I have not opened this at all. So I'm really excited to see what I have here. Like I said, I've been doing the same display for years for my Toy X videos, and it's starting to show its age. So I wanted to change things up for you. Very careful. Knowing my luck, I'd cut right into the product. That is a professional tape job. All right, so box is open. Lots of bubble wrap. They're making sure this got to me safe. All right, so we get through the bubble wrap here. And the first thing we have, I have no room. I bought two pieces of the flooring. It's the, the base. And let's see. Actually, it looks like Okay, everything's right here, I believe. Yep, okay, everything's right here. So it's sealed up with uh, some foam paper. There we go. So now I've got two pieces of this flooring. It's like the gold tile that is the floor of the ark. You probably noticed that right off. Very thick cardboard and nice and highly detailed. I like that. And the background that I chose, get all this unwrapped. Was the arc interior? So that looks really, really good. I'm blocking myself. Very, very nice quality. That's some nice cardboard stock right there. Beautiful printed image. So now let's put it on the viewing area or my review station and let's see what it looks like. And oh yeah, welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Okay, now like I said in the intro, if you follow my channel any at all and have watched any of my Toy Hex reviews, this is what you see. I have this green grid background with this Toy Hex insert in behind the figure. And my insert, it's starting to get a little old. It's getting frayed up here at the top. I have this taped together. This actually is two different inserts. So I've really enjoyed it over the years, but it's starting to show its age. And a lot of times I can't get the figure to fit completely behind it. If the figure's too tall or something like that. I mean, deluxes, legends fit fine, but anything bigger is not going to fit. Plus it's angled and it's really hard to get all in frame. As you can see up here at the top, see the white showing through it. It's hard to manipulate. So let's get rid of that. And normally I get rid of that when I start going into the decals themselves. And quick teaser, these are the new decals for Earthrise Trailbreaker. So my new display is going to be used on him first. So let's get these out of the way for now. Here's the green background I always use. This is a 
crafting board. I bought this years ago for some model building. Every time I do a Toy Hacks review, I'm advertising for Alvin here. So let's move Trail Breaker out of the way. And this is really thick. It's real nice, but once again, it is showing its age. It's got scuff marks and ink and paint right there. I mean, I use this thing for a lot of stuff. So let's get this out of the way. And there you have my plain white background that I use in all my other reviews. And let's put down the gold flooring here. I bought two pieces. So it looks like that may, maybe one piece might work. So anyway, there's the flooring. So we've got that down. Let's go ahead and put the background up first. Now the one I bought is the medium background. So we'll get this down like so. Get that all positioned. I can actually move it all the way to the back. Get the floor. Let's see, we'll get the floor down first. Put this on top of it. Bear with me. Okay, so we'll kind of line that up. Put the floor here on top. And there we go. So I'll angle that up a little bit so you can see. I like that. That's cool. So now if I'm doing a Toy Hacks review, we'll put Trail Breaker here. Put the decals right there and actually need to angle that down a little bit. So there's what my new Toy Hacks review background is going to look like. Of course, I'm going to work with this a little bit more to get it set up really good. But I like that. That looks really cool. Now I went with the interior of the arc because I figure with that, I can use it for both Autobots and Decepticons, because when the Autobots and Decepticons crashed to Earth, this is where they all first awoke. Nice, thick paper here. So, hell, I might use this in all my reviews. I really like how that looks. Really makes the figure pop as well. Now, there is many different types of toy stages to choose from. Multiple Transformer themes, G.I. Joe themes, Masters of the Universe themes, all kinds of different ones to take a look at. I'm going to put a link to the toy stages in the description of this video. And they come in all different sizes. You've got small, medium, and large. This one here is a medium. They also have one designed for the Detoff shelves for, you know, a neat way to display your figures. So that's it. That is toy stages. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And stop by this channel tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, January 15th, where I'll be interviewing the legendary Stan Bush live. I hope to see you guys there. And once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!